Hey, welcome back to Toby's Real Skills with Toby. Good to see you again. I'm a little bit late with this video, but I figured better now than ever. So I will go ahead in this video upgrade my Venus OS from 2.86, I, I believe it is, to 2.89. Um, this video is just showing the change in case you want to do that. I realized as well after digging in and doing more research Venus OS 2.9 and so on um, requires an entire new flash or reflashing of your um, Raspberry Pi. So I'm not doing this in this video, I'm just focusing on 2.89 and see if there's any flaw, if there's any issue with upgrading. And also I want to uh, include the change logs uh, also in the description below in case there's any change, in case you want to do this update. I'm not sh sure if you want to since I'm a little late, but anyways. I'll uh, attach all and I'll include all notes below in the description. Um, it's pretty straightforward, I would say. We'll just try it and see if it is actually. So I connected via um, Ethernet, no, sorry, not Ethernet. I connected via Wi Fi to my Raspberry Pi. Uh, as you can see here, there's just a smart chain connected. There's not a lot more at the moment. Oh, sorry, and the B MPPT, of course, but uh, that's it. So um, I'm using the internal network here because I'm, I'm home. And I just, you know, click to settings. Oh, it works. Follow the settings. Go to firmware. And there you can see, oh, it's actually 2.85. Good to know. And uh, then I want to go to online updates. And from there, I want to have the latest release. So when I see update available, 2.89 but let's see we'll do a press to check still 2.89 fine with me I'm going to update it I would assume between one and a half minutes to a little bit more I s guess there is a reboot happening oh there we are it took about yeah probably maximum two minutes if at all so let's go let's see firmware firmware version great 2.89 in the meantime upgraded uh, online update let's check no new version available cool oh there we go I want to change to latest release candidate just to see if I can get an update. Error during checking, I assume so. That's fine. Check one more time. No new version available. 2.89. Last version for this entire build. That's good to know. So what did change? So I was able to find the release notes or the change log, how to call it. Since we upgraded, now to go down. We upgraded from 2.85, right? The last time. So you can see, um, I'm linking. Actually, not linking because I can't attach files. But I do copy and paste this stuff as well in the description below. I um, hope there's enough space. So you can see version 2.86. What changed? I'll hold pretty quick so you can press pause or whatever if you want to. Um, no issues. That's good. Let's see. Probably detected. Uh, okay. <laughs> so they have a version 2.86, fixed in version 2.87. It is what it is. We're skipping those versions anyway. It's with uh, EV charging stations. Interesting. I don't have that anyway, sadly. But uh, hey, we'll see. Uh, fixed communication loss, EV charger, yeah, that doesn't count for us or for me. And then we see 2.88, internal changes related to cerebral manufacturing, okay. And then 2.89, oh, fixed issue where display was permanently dimmed. Oh, okay, multi plus, all right, cool. Um, really, there's not a lot of changes to be honest. Um, good part about it. Um, the upgrade worked flawlessly. I would say I'm going to check it, uh, connecting the display again uh, later on my own. Um, in case there's any issues, I will update, um, put it, attach it as well. 
But uh, other than that, there's not a lot more to this. I will get back to you with the upgrade to version 2.9. Pretty sure there are videos out there already. But uh, I'll do it anyways, since I also want to follow the trend a little bit. I want to go with the newest version if possible. And uh, I also want to see, since the prices are, since the prices for Raspberry Pis <laughs> have increased significantly, I want to see if there's maybe an alternative instead of the Raspberry Pi. Um, so far what I read, no, but you can still give it a try. I ordered something pretty cheap. We'll see if it works. Um, I might just use the 2.9 and newer versions and see what's going on. But I would say that's pretty much it. As mentioned, we'll uh, attach uh, first of all the links what I used for Raspberry Pi for the, for until now to version 2.89 of Venus, uh, Venus OS as well as uh, the change log information here and uh, yeah be on the lookout for um, the version or upgrading to version 2.9 of Venus OS and uh, I'll guess I'll see you then around thanks for watching if you have any questions of course um, please feel free to ask them in the or put them in the comment section I'm happy if you want to subscribe to see more stuff like that of course there will be more videos out there as well thanks for watching see you next time Tschüss.